mambo vipi mtazamaji wa Gomba subscribe kutia YouTube channel sana sana kwanza kuangalia Gomba make sure you subscribe utaji kujifunza vitu mbalimbali basi namba yangu simu hii hapa kuna vitu vingi ambavyo kujifunza of course nilikuwa nikupa vitu mbalimbali basi namba yangu simu hii hapo chini kabla kwa njia nchi tunaanza na +255 762 956 3 double 6 double 6 basi ndo namba imepata sasa kuna ugonjwa ambao kikweli nimeweza kupata um, watu wengi sana wamekuwa kutumia tumia hapa nikasema sio mbaya niweze kuzungumza kwa sababu mko na wasumbua wafugaji wengi kwa hiyo ukitaji pia kujifunza vitu vya kuhusu utengenezaji wa chakula cha kuku eh, aina zote wa wanyama wa mayai ukitaji pia kujifunza jinsi kutengeneza mambo mbalimbali batiki mishuma sabuni na vitu vingine vingi vitu vingi vya kujifunza lakini hasa mambo ya kukuku haya kusoma gonjwa zaidi na vitu vingine vingi 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 ufugaje banda ukitaka utotoleshe kwa njia ya kienyeji njia rahisi ya box basi namba yangu ya simu ni hiyo nimeitaja 0762956366 kwenye screen hapo utaweza kuiona kuna gonjwa unaitwa Mycoplasmosis Mycoplasmosis ni ugonjwa ambao utaokuta kuku <coughs> wa umri e, mkubwa na mdogo pia lakini hasa sana kwa umri mkubwa sasa pataelezea kwa Kiingereza kidogo ili kufaida watu ambao wafahamu lugha ya Kiswahili na nitaenda kwa lugha ya Kiingereza I want to, I want to explain this in English then I will be back to My, our language which is called Swahili. This is advantage for those people who don't know how to speak English. <sighs> Sometimes you can ask yourself what is my called prosmosis. Simply put, uh, my prosmosis is the point evasion of a bad cold that never seems to go away. This respiratory disease which affects chicken is caused by mycoplasmas. Team bacteria like organism that cause respiration respiratory problems in poultry and the world beets. The mite mycoplasma gari septum the most common and pro problematic of the mycoplasmas is Arbage range bacteria whose only aim is to wage war on your chicken, delicate respiratory system, mycoplasmosis, aka AMG, also known as AMG, after the bacteria which cause it, is a slow developing infection which may may all may not cause visible symptom in your frog. However, if there are other stress including issue going on in your frog, symptoms may appear. Possible stressor stressors include environmental, extreme temperature, dust, drought, etc. Nutritional weakness, other infections and the addition of new frog members, etc. and etc. As you see this is one of the symptoms you see for those chicken has got uh, that disease mycoplasmosis uh, so after looking what is mycoplasmosis now we come to know symptoms of micros mycoplasmosis symptoms symptoms of this disease including cawing sneezing dull noise water and the foam looking eyes a rotting in the breathing swollen face laborred breathing toothless feathers loss of appetite a drop in eggs legs and a sweet smelling breath how is it my was by prosmosis transmitted you can ask yourself maybe how is it transmitted this is a, like a respiratory uh, illness is a high contagious Infected beads spread Mg to uninfected beads through secretions or unsuspecting 
health bills can be affected when they come into contact with an infected environment. Feeders, in the water sluts, show bits, transport, transporter carriers, beading, and dusty chicken, keeper, clothing, or shoes, etc. Can all herbalize bacteria for hours. Be well also of weed bees that come and go in your backyard for the for the two can care and transmit microposmosis to your precious frog. Mother hens can also spread MG to their chickens via the egg. Uh, now while, while we human can transmit the, this barrier of bacteria to health chickens through contact with the, our infection clothing, thankful we cannot contract micro small cis ourselves. So how can we transmit? Um, how can we try to treat the treatment the treatment the solutions how can we do the solution here we have you have you've seen this photo there's one this is medical treatment which is called telobiotic you can use it if you go to your near um, shops farmers they will give you this Treatment, if you, uh, if you can use um, these bacteria, uh, there is uh, antibiotics which kill bacteria, gonna, there is apple cider vinegar, or electrical electrolyte to their drinking water, um, give them dose of probio probiotic, uh, also mix fresh mixed garlic in natural antibiotic into their, in their feed, trying adding some respiratory relief in their form of fresh chopper basil. Clother, Lily Henense, and they and they uh, uh, them to their food. Sometimes just a little TLC is like a tech to get your feathers, friends feeling health and happy once again, if you wish. So that is how. Let me explain it in Swahili for those people who don't know how to speak English or to listen in English language. Ugonjwa na ito am microprasmosis. Nini ugonjwa mbao kimsingi? ni ugonjwa ambao unatokea kwa kuku na mara nyingi unawasumbua watu wengi sana na ni ugonjwa ambao kuku kiupata moja kati ya dalili kati mwingine kwa lugha nyingine inaitwa MG MG na ugonjwa uh, kiupata uh, moja kati ya, um, ya dalili zake ni kwamba anakohoa anatulia sana eh e, anakuwa mpole mm, lakini pia jicho lake na vimba unakuwa una kitu kimekipo ndani lakini pumua au pumua eh, anapumua kwa shida anapoteza hamu ya kula kama ni kuku ambao anataga anasitaga tena ana stop au ana, ana drop anapungua sasa hii inaweza ikasafirishwa kwa njia gani huu uh, gonjwa pia unaweza uka uka uka, uka, uka wengine na wengine wengine kama utu kwa tenga wala gonjwa na wazima kwa pembeni lakini pia na binadamu wanza uka 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 kusambaza kupitia vyakula kama vyombo wanavutumia vyakula pamoja maji mwea vya fida zile kama utuweza kutuzi tenganisha inaweza kutuwa shida pia hawa sasa na pia kwa hile ambaye nawe kwa hile kwa hile nyukua kenyeji kukua kenyeji anaweza haka utoa kwa mama kwenye mayai kumulitisha mtoto ambaye zaliwa ya nikifalanga kupitia mayai kwa hiyo unaweza pia mama aka akamuumkiza aka mama yake na kuku eh anaweza kumkiza watoto pia kwa hiyo pia kupitia binadamu kama viatu vingine hapo nyumba banda au sehemu husika eh, na njia za usafiri tuna usafiri tuweze tukaubeba kule tukawaletea kwa hiyo vyema ukawa na viatu eh, sahihi kwa ajili kuingia kwenye banda na shauriwe kuna vipiwe dawa sasa kuna namna namna ya kuweza kutibu ugonjwa of course ugonjwa pia unaweza kutibiwa kwa njia zifuatazo kuna 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 baadhi ya vitu kama apple cider vinegar ni 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 njia za kitaalamu hizo unaweza kutumia dawa hizo electrolyte drinking water unaweza kapa dozi ya ya probiotic ya kuna dawa hii hapa inaitwa tailor biotic unaweza kuonesha hapo lakini vile vile pia kuna unaweza kuchanganyia chakula kuna dawa hizo za TLC kama hivyo lakini kifupi unaweza kutumia pia antibiotics 
Usubscribe kupitia YouTube channel Asante sana kwa ngalia ya Gomba. See you next time.